Do you think next season the mechanics are going to change? Are you going to be able? You think you'll be able to adjust to the new mechanics to stay strong? Yeah, I, I, I definitely feel like uh, I'd be the best at doing that. Uh, I'm really quick to learn how learn the patches work. Uh, I've also had a lot of experience not playing Keelik lately, uh, which has definitely held my strength as far as like adjusting immediately to how, what the developers want uh, out of me. So, so you, you feel confident. Yeah. You, you feel like feel you, next season comes out, you're like, I'm good. I'm like, I'm not afraid of next season. Some you know some people they don't when the new when the new stuff starts coming out they're ready to like switch characters to just so I don't know if you're I guess you're you're just prepared no matter what happens right yeah like I don't I don't feel uncomfortable playing other characters it's just he looks clearly my ace so uh, hopefully they don't kill him <laughs> <laughs> I don't see a reason to do it so yeah. I don't think he's on everyone's list to, to be killed anyway so um, so what are your plans for um, DreamHack are you just gonna compete yeah, just compete. Uh, I'm only here for today. Um, yeah. Well, that's, I, mean, that's I, I had the DreamHack experience last year, and you know, it's, it's a really cool environment. Just how, because it's not like any fighting game tournaments. You know what I mean? Like it's like a huge convention with lots of games, uh, vendors uh, everywhere, and then the stage is awesome. So, you know, I love I love DreamHack. You know, I, I agree. Like it doesn't feel like a fighting game tournament because obviously when you have fighting game tournaments, there's way more places to play and relax and hang out and all that stuff and this is this is just a convention so yeah, like yeah. if you're here to play you're here to play and then that's pretty yeah, much there are a lot of fighting game tournaments like that but there is like evo ceo that are that do have that vibe but like i mean just look at this whole place it's so huge yeah this place is enormous yeah um so who you, who are you trying to beat who am i trying to beat who are you trying to beat today well I, i'm i'm trying to definitely beat zephyrkai uh he he's definitely been my training partner since the game came out uh and I am most worried about him, uh, and looking forward to our matches. You know, it's, it's funny because like I play Samurai Showdown, and honestly, my biggest competitor is my training partner, and that, that's the guy to beat for me every time I compete. So I understand, I understand that. So my last question for you: Do you got any tips for people trying to learn Soul Calibur to help them get stronger? Just basic stuff, nothing really crazy. Uh, just make sure you're having fun because he won't want to improve if you're not enjoying yourself. That's true. That's true. Ready. I agree. I, I completely agree. Yeah. I, can see I can see why wanting to get better is tied into having a good time. Yeah, you have to want to play it, right? Yeah. Like, you can, you can look up a team and be like, oh, Aswell's the best character. You're trying to play Aswell and learn the game on Aswell. But if you don't actually like him, then why are you even playing? Yeah. You're going you're to run into that problem. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree. But it was, it was, it was cool interviewing, man. Yeah. I think we wrapped up all the questions. I hope you do good today. Hopefully, we get to see you on the screen. Hell yeah. All right, man. Peace out.